We've been testing Oppo phones for years, including the X6 Pro and our current favorite, the Find N3 Flip, as well as their OS, which works incredibly well. So we partnered up with Oppo to show off their new Color OS 14 software and some of their new really unique features using their new Reno 11 Pro 5G, which is, by the way, very, very nice, especially this interesting material that almost looks like this cool 3D look. But getting back to Color OS 14 that's installed and updated on this phone, it's packed with new underlining infrastructure and algorithms, bringing you new features and upgrades like the new aquamorphic design, new smart efficiency AI features, smooth performance updates, and safety and privacy upgrades. So let's get right into the first part, which is the aquamorphic design. The whole UI has been changed to feature their new aquamorphic styling. As you can see right here, they've updated all of the little images, the logos, everything looks nice and clean with subtle gradients. They've also updated all of their sounds with the aquamorphic style, so you can see right here. And I really like all of these themes because it's almost like a nice, soft, and soothing sound and style across all of these aquamorphic themes. Like this is for the ringtones and for the notifications. I really like the clouds when it almost reminds me of like a Nintendo game, it's really nice. They also have this really cool new aquamorphic coloring feature, which actually adapts to different scenarios like the phone status and the time, which matches up the colors to the context of what's going on. So you can see right here, you could actually have it automatically adapt your alarm sound to the current weather. You can see rainy, snowy, it changes the sound with these nice, soft, aquamorphic tones. Moving on, they also have their new Aqua Dynamics feature, which will show off information about different apps at the top of your screen. So for example, if I start screen recording right here, you can see that it actually pops up in this panel at the top of the display, which is really nice. You can actually long press on it, and it pops up a bigger panel, basically for real-time status tracking of what's going on. So I could actually adjust this. I can turn off the screen recording. I could swipe it away. Same thing for the audio recorder. If I do that, look at that. Once I swipe away, it pops up the audio recording bubble right here at the top. And keep in mind that your notifications, like your messages and other things, will pop up at the top of the screen with these new aqua dynamic bubbles. There's also a really cool new go green feature within the always on display settings, which has this carbon footprint settings where you can turn it on and it'll actually show you which times you're using less of the carbon footprint, which is really cool. So you can set it just like that and it'll show up on your always on display. And now let's move on to part two of the cool new features of ColorOS 14 and we have smart efficiency. For example, they have new gestures for taking screenshots. So if we swipe down with three fingers like this, it takes a full screenshot of the entire display, which is really cool. They also have the really cool smart touch and extract content tool where you can take a screenshot and then click on extract content. Then you can highlight text and drag it into the file dock. You can even drag images as well, which is really cool. Moving on, they also have their new file dock feature, which allows you to actually move files across different apps. For example, they have their really cool smart image matting feature, which lets you identify different subjects like this cutout, tap on it, hold it, and it can actually pick it up and release it. And then look at that, you could save into your file dock just like that, that's using both new features at the same time. So check this out, I'm gonna cut out this little Oppo Reno 11 Pro box, and there you go, it just went into the file doc. They also have a bunch of cool features in Notes, so I can actually drag and drop this, go into the Notes app, and bam, I just created a note dragging and dropping it, which is nice. And now let's move on to another really cool feature, part three for ColorOS 14. And we have smooth performance with Oppo's new Trinity engine, which basically allows you to multitask with different apps and it makes it a lot more smooth because it balances and manages your memory resources, giving you long-term, very smooth performance. For example, you can go into the phone manager app and optimize all 
of your different settings. You can clean up anything extra that you have. And they do have a couple of new features where you can optimize and balance your overall system's performance, including defragging your system and storage. The first one I wanna mention is the ROM vitalization feature, which can actually clean up and free up your storage by compressing your app and file data down using things like compression, defragmentation, and memory acceleration. So you can see, I could go into cleanup storage right here. You can see how much compression there is, and you could basically press this button to clean everything up and clear anything that's extra. As you can see, I have zero bytes of apps that are currently compressed because this is a brand new device that I just opened, but we can go into the RAM vitalization feature, which actually boosts your RAM performance by revamping the underlying Android RAM mechanism and boosting efficiency to keep apps running in the background for up to 72 hours. This is actually a really cool feature because on a lot of smartphones, apps might only be lasting a couple of hours or maybe the next day everything's reset and refreshed 72 hours with ColorOS 14. And you can see how everything basically stays open right where you left off. They also have their CPU vitalization, which basically uses the Trinity engine to maintain an optimal balance of performance and power efficiency in all use cases throughout the day. They also have new smart charging features, which you can turn on and it'll actually use AI to kind of detect how you're using your phone throughout the day and change the charging. You can even limit it to 80% manual manually if you want to, to kind of slow down the battery aging of your device, or you can rely on the AI if you'd like. There's even Arctic mode, which will preheat your battery intentionally when you're gonna be charging to optimize it. Sort of how like EV vehicles do it in the winter where you wanna get it warm so it charges and doesn't damage the battery. And now let's finish off with number four, which is safety and privacy. They have this really cool new picture feature keeper, which is gonna prevent apps from misusing the permissions for your photos and videos so you can set it and you don't have to worry about anybody using things that you didn't allow them to use. So you can see right here, the permission manager, go to the permissions and you can see which apps actually allow you to use your photos. Some of them will say while in use, some will say not allowed at all, and you can make some to allow all the time. And now they also have this really cool auto pixelate feature, which can automatically pixelate sensitive information within your screenshots and pictures. Switching to auto, you can see it detecting, oh, there you go. It detected my name, but you could actually touch and hold more areas right here. I just pixelated the email address and the name and the photo just like that in the screenshot. They also have a lot of settings. Like for example, you can go into the screen refresh rate and you can always set it to high, keep it as standard, auto select. I love having it in high because that's the best, smoothest 120 Hertz. Really, really nice. They also have a bunch of new text editing features. Like for example, you can highlight, you can underline, and a bunch of other things. And now they have a really cool new phone link system that'll let you connect your Oppo phone to Windows PCs to sync your messages and much more. So with all that said and tested, I've gotta say I'm very impressed with Oppo's new Color OS 14. It's very nice and smooth, it's concise, it's smart, and I love some of the features that we tested, like for example, that auto pixelate feature was really cool. The new aquamorphic sounds, ringtones, the colors, the whole OS is very smooth. I love the new performance features and everything. And you guys let me know your favorite feature down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, you can click above to subscribe and check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.